All right, how we doing everyone? Mr. Ellis here, coming at you guys with uh, something a little bit different today. Um, we're gonna be doing some, uh, basically a phys ed lesson on a book here. Uh, we got Where the Wild Things Are, you can see it down there in the bottom corner. I got it right here as well. Um, yeah, so it's an awarded book, Where the Wild Things Are. Um, written and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. And uh, again, I'm here with you guys, Mr. Ellis, to take you through this. So just the story of where the wild things are. This is gonna be um, the story of Max and how a giant forest grew and grew and an ocean poured into his room. Um, a private boat arrived for Max to make his journey uh, to where the wild things are. He sailed night and he sailed night and day for days and weeks. He meets the wild things and tames them with his magic trick and becomes king of the wild things. Max becomes lonely, so he sails back to his own room where he finds his supper waiting for him, still hot and ready for him like it was when he left. What are we gonna be doing? Again, we're gonna be taking a journey with Max. We're gonna sail across a large ocean. We're gonna act like wild things. We're gonna crown Max king of all wild things. All the wild things are gonna go to sleep and Max is gonna uh, make his journey back across the ocean all the way home back to his room. All right, so we got task one here. So Max dresses up as a wolf. So what I want you guys to do is pick any animal and act like that animal in a zigzag pathway until the timer is up. You can see Max dressed like a wolf down here. I'm gonna go ahead and start that timer and you guys are gonna pick any animal you want. This could be a cow, a dog, a sheep, a lion, anything. Pick an animal and move in a zigzag pack pathway while acting like that animal. So here we go, 30 seconds. Very good, very good. Task two, a forest begins to grow in Max's room. When I say go, start at a low level, kind of um, basically on the ground, and we're gonna rise to a high level. And we're gonna make a straight and narrow body shape like a tree. You can see Max in his room with all these trees right here. So when I say go, I'm gonna start this timer. You guys are gonna start at a low level. We're gonna to rise to a high level and then I'm gonna start the timer. You guys are gonna make a straight and narrow body shape, just like a tree for 15 seconds. So ready, go, or low level, rising up to a high level. And we're in a straight and narrow body shape for 15 seconds here, like a tree. All righty, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> so an ocean comes pouring in after the trees all grow and a private, private boat arrives for Max. When I say go, we're gonna act like we're Max and we're gonna jump in our private boat and we're gonna move in a wide shape and curved pathway, just like a boat on the ocean. So when I say go, I'm gonna start this timer and you guys are gonna move in a wide shape and a curved pathway, again, just like a boat on the ocean. Ready, go. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Moving on here. Sorry about that. Here we go. Moving on here. Task number three. All right. So Max has arrived where the wild things are. Max pulls up uh, to the shore right here, as you can see in the picture. And they, the wild things roar, flash their teeth, and show their claws. So when I say go, let's all move in a straight pathway and act like the wild things. <clears throat> We're going to be doing this 
in a wide shape and we're going to be doing all different types of things. We're going to be roaring, flashing our teeth and showing our claws, just like what happens when Max arrives at the wild things. So when I say go, I'm going to start this timer and you guys act like a, the wild things while moving in a straight pathway. Ready, go. Awesome, awesome. Here we go. We got task number four here. Max yells, be still. When I say go, everyone freeze in a wide twisted shape like a wild thing. So I'm gonna start this timer. And then when I say ready, go, you guys make a freeze in a wide twisted shape. Ready, go. Awesome, great job. Let's stay frozen in that wide twisted shape until we get to our next task. Here we go, we got task number five. Max is crowned king of all wild things. When I say go, imagine Max is in front of you and bow in a straight, narrow shape. Ready, go. Get a couple bows in here. Let's get six bows, so we got one bow two bows, three bows, four bows, five bows, and six bows to the king of all wild things. You guys can see down here, all the wild things bound to Max, who's got his king, his king's crown. All right, task number six here. Max cries out, let the wild rumpus start. When I say go, dance and move around like a wild thing. We're gonna stretch, curl, twist, spin, rise or sink all in a straight pathway. So you can see down here, we got Max and the wild things dancing. We're gonna be in a, a big wide shape like uh, the wild things. Again, we can stretch and curl, twist or spin, rise or sink all in a straight pathway here. When I say go, I'm gonna start this timer. You guys go ahead and get going with that. Ready, go. Awesome. We got some great wild things out there. Here we go. We got task number seven. Max yells out to all the wild things to go and rest for the night. Excuse me. When I say go, everyone curl up at a low level in a narrow and round shape like an animal sleeping on the ground. You can see we got Max here and all the wild things are laying down on the ground in a curled up shape in a narrow round shape, just like an animal sleeping on the ground. Again, when I say go, I'm gonna start this timer and then you guys are gonna go ahead and get into a narrow round shape at a low level, just like we're sleeping on the ground like an animal. Ready, go. Task number eight here. 
Max has sent all the wild things to rest for the night. He's feeling lonely and he's ready to sail back home for days and nights across that large ocean. So when I say go, let's jump back in our boat and move in a wide shape and a curved pathway, just like a boat in the ocean. All right, here we go. Ready, go. Wide shape, curved pathway, like a boat in the ocean. everyone. So Max has arrived back at home. He walks back into his room and the forest and the ocean are gone and he walks downstairs and um, his dinner is waiting for him and it's still hot just like it was when he left for the wild things. That's the end of our story there. Class, thanks for taking that journey with me everyone. Hope you all had a great time. Max told me to leave this message for you guys from Max, the king of all wild things.